Um, Lisa, you um, are with a um, Christian uh, school, private school. Yes, um, why are, uh, first of all, are you seeing an increase in people fleeing? the public schools? It is. We have had a significant interest over the past year. Um, Dayspring offers educational programs for the community as well, and uh, there has just been a groundswell, hundreds of people coming okay. to school for various programs. I want to ask you the difference on what, I mean, because what Nick was just talking about, you're still doing. What was taught before yeah. is now still being taught That's in private schools. We'll do that in just a second. Um, tonight, uh, concerned parents um, and people who are um, thinking, what is happening to our kids? And this is the beginning. This is the first in uh, what I hope to be a series of episodes um, of people that um, are... The first episode here is, there's a problem. The next episode will be, here's what you do. But Lisa, I wanted to bring you in because you are actually doing something in your school. And what is the difference between what is being taught in your private school that was taught and no longer taught um, in public schools? Yeah, it's completely different. We are, Dayspring is one of about 25 principal approach schools in the nation. It is the method of education that was prevalent during the founding era of our nation. Um, it teaches students. We want them to be able to think and to reason from biblical principles and apply them to every area of life. And it really is uh, designed and created with the intention um, of counteracting that secular and socialistic um, efforts that are going on uh, in America today. We, we need to, we take those, we restore those um, principles like self-government um, that generations were raised up in to teach responsibility and accountability and um, taking care of your neighbor and those are really um, founded in um, biblical principles and we teach our students um, to stand on those truths and um, we want to be able to have our young people go out there and restore that biblical foundation. Uh, that's what we were talking about yesterday. George, uh, George Washington said, uh, let us raise a standard that we can be restored by the wise and the honest.